you starred in uh, True Detective, which I think um, explores some darker aspects of human nature. What did you take from that, from that role, mm. from that experience, philosophically, psychologically? The freedom of, of, of being on an island. He was such a singular character and of a singular mind. And as you know, it wasn't a, a dance party up there in his mind. It was, it was some, some heavy stuff. But also, existentially, for him, always like, death would be a deliverance for him. It'd also be a cop-out. In a way, it also would be. He was not a, not a man who was going to give himself amnesty, and didn't allow it from the rest of the world. He wouldn't give himself an out. And while living in his head and heart and spirit was whew, more of a hell than arguably dying, there was not no alternative. That's not negotiable for that man. And that's why he was such a, that's why he was the best detective that ever walked the earth. That's why he was such a, a superhero in a way, to have that singular. You don't go, oh, I wish I was him. No, but you go like, wow, that constitution, that clarity of identity. Talk about a measure in a, in a, in a, in a man's constitution. He didn't allow anybody off the hook, especially himself. You wanted him to forgive a little bit or give himself a little amnesty. You wanted him to like, man, it's Saturday, bro. Can you go on a date? <laughs> you wanted him to like enjoy something, but he was connected to something in his DNA, who's who he was, and something much more baseline truth. And that's why he was such a good detective. So that, but there's an island. As much as that company can be, I said earlier on that Amazon trip, I wouldn't enjoy the company. There's parts, I think, that I maybe gave to myself to Rustin Cole and also that Rustin Cole has given back to me that are like, yeah, when you're, when you want to pull the parachute because you can't stand the company that you're in, McConaughey, in your own mind, the Socratic dialogue is driving you freaking crazy. Don't pull the parachute. Stick with it. Go through it. So you were able to walk around with that tormented mind of his? Tormented. I did. I, I didn't have very much patience for mendacious talk. I didn't have as much patience for small talk. I wasn't tormented. But the character was, and you have to embody him. So is that, I mean, does some of that bleed over? Are you able to uh, separate the man you are from the character? It's not. Look, am I able to separate it? Yeah, I came home to my kids. And when they walk in the door and greet me and go, what'd you do today? And you got three kids under 10 years old. You don't tell them about the scene where you help someone commit suicide. <laughs> it's just, you know, so you, you turn it into a parable. It actually... I've always said this, having kids has made me a better actor, a better storyteller, because I have to <laughs> parabolize certain things, you know? Yeah. Um and tell it in ways that they go, oh, neat, you know? Um, so, I, uh, did, did I go, did I bring it home? I didn't bring torment. Did I bring introspection into my life? This, characters for me, and I think this is true for a lot of actors and actresses, we don't, it's not a separation. If I've got, I, we each have everyone else in us it's just seeing diving into rustin gold knowing where his mind and heart is from the hand of nick pizzolato who wrote the character and wrote the whole series understanding number one what the hell am i saying what's he talking about then going deeper into that well if that this person really believes that what does that say about how they move then i'm going all of a sudden well, who is that in me? What part of my left brain is locked into that? What part of my reptilian brain is whoosh, 
latched onto that. Where every, they, it, this other stuff is non-negotiable. Then I just live in that. And it's I always taught it like a 70s equalizer. Remember the old that Marantz equalizers? You can and you move up your 500 HKZ, you move up your 60, you you just re you re re uh, uh, rebalance the equalizer. And we all have so it's just going to those parts of me where I'll turn up the volume, some parts of the bass, the treble on the equalizer, and turn down other parts of myself. And I'll I'm not coming home tormented as Rustin Cole. Am I coming home seeing torment where it should be seen? Am I reading the news differently or things coming out of the news and catching my eye as being bullshit or lies or truth that it's just hard and going, yep, yeah, I'm seeing it through a different lens, but I'm seeing my own life through a different lens, a lens that was opened up. And an aperture that was opened up through Rust and Cole. I mean, the 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 process of being an actor, an actress, I guess, is a really interesting way to be a philosopher of human nature. <laughs> yeah, We're, I mean, it's a, it's an incredible, <laughs> really in it <laughs> dive into the humanities. Yeah, and all the ologies, yeah, and philosophy. And as I said, I going to going to. As I opened up that question, like that, the, vac- the being on an island is a vacation. I am also conscious for five months when I'm playing Rustin Cole that this this is an interesting fact. I've I've never I was as strong spiritually with my relationship with God when I did True Detective as I've ever been. Why is that? <laughs> okay. Which you would say, wait a minute. In some ways, that's a, those are antonyms. It, it, we're, no, but, but my, I, I, I pretty sure, pretty safely can say that my own strength of spirit in my own personal life, Matthew's lifetime, gave me the confidence to go further away, hmm. deeper into the torture and deeper into the, but it was still, he was still always going after truth. Mm-hmm. That was the thing. He was not, he was not, an, not an evil man. I don't even know if you can call him a non-believer, but he was always going after the truth and the truth burns. And he would take the scar and get burned for it. He'd die for it. That, something was actually from biblical about that, <laughs> you know? And, yeah. and so, but I, but I, I, I don't think it's coincidence that I was, had so much, Jour de Vive, uh, of diving into the depths of that uh, tortured character because I trusted that when I go out, I'll come up the other side. It's always like jumping in a pool of water. And can you trust you'll come up the other side and not, you know, you go play a criminal. You, you trust you're not going to come out the other side a tyrant in real life. You just go, ah, oh, God, I got to go do that, came out and I'm still alive, got all my faculties, I'm not in jail, I'm not, you know, whatever it is. And, and so my own spirituality at that time, hell, it definitely I think gave me a certain trust and confidence to go further into the dark 